The idea of mortgages has been in existence for quite a while as a means of raising capital and financing on the leverage of rights to affordable housing, which has been regarded as one of the most dependable assets to own. The mortgage sector over the years has faced numerous challenges, thereby making it difficult for many Nigerians to have a roof over their heads. The Minister of Housing and Urban Development, architect Ahmed Musa Dangiwa, expressed his pains over the same problems that have been militating against the growth of the housing finance, mortgage adoption and housing delivery facing the country. While speaking to Housing TV Africa, recently at the 20th edition of the Mortgage Banking Subsector Annual Retreat 2023, he outlined some of the measures to be taken in order to solve the challenges facing the mortgage sector. Well, the Renewal Hope agenda came with reforms, as you quite well know that. Uh, if you know the challenges, you know the problems, then constitute a committee of experts to look at it. And then you should have somebody like a president who has the will to do it. Because all these reports, we have them on, on we have policies that are there on the shelf, but they have never been implemented. But we need uh, actualization of these policies, actualization of these reforms. And this is the time when we have to do it. With the new renewed Hof agenda of Mr. President, whereby we have already gotten his approval to constitute these reform committees. And these reform committees will start working by next week. And then once they have uh, brought out their reports, the next thing will go to the National Assembly to see the National Assembly collaboration with the executive bills for reforming most of the uh, stumbling blocks if it is concerns act, if it concerns the institutions, if it concerns, concerns whatever. We have to ensure that we do it. And uh, that, that will to even explore the option of the uh, collaboration with the public-private uh, partnerships to ensure that uh, funds are raised and ensure that uh, in every environment are created for, for, to, to break all the obstacles. That's the first thing we intend to do. While noting with concern, the minister raised an alarm over the capital market not being maximally tapped in order to raise long-term funds to refinance mortgage loans. The minister also spoke on possible ways in which the capital market can be used to raise long-term funds in order to refinance mortgage loans in Nigeria. Part of the reforms we intend to do, we intend to ensure that we work with the capital markets to ensure that all the environment, all the obstacles, because most of the primary mortgage banks and other housing finance institutions, they, they, they are, they are they, 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 one thing or the other is what uh, uh, stops them from going to the capital market. So by this collaborative reform meeting, that we intend to do, that's why we explore all those uh, obstacles and ensure that we surmount them. And the scoop is there that has been tested and uh, is working in the country. Even the capital market itself uh, needs to need to come and sit down with us, with them, and ensure that they create all the environment for access to funding, especially in housing. As you quite well know, the housing needs huge funding. And it's uh, for, for a mortgage, it needs long-term funding. And the only way to go forward is, is through the capital market. And the capital market must, uh, must, be, must come forward and be part of the reform and ensure that uh, they're also key into the agenda of Mr. President of the Renewed Hope Agenda.